Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Wingate Solutions. I hope you're doing well. With our website officially up and running now, I figured I would showcase a few of our products, maybe to answer some questions, kind of explain the setup and the use case of our products. Our first one we're going to do is our sling retention strap. Anyway, let's get after it. All right. So sling retention straps, right? Sling stowage. It's important to have a way to manage your sling when not in use and to not let the sling get in the way when I'm trying to deploy the rifle, have it get caught on things. Whether that's as simple as being administrative and having your rifle stored in your safe, and you don't want your sling yanking on the other rifles, like that's a legitimate reason I think a lot of us can relate to. But also professionally, your prepared-minded citizen or your a cop, Deploying this rifle and not having that sling get caught on something in that vehicle, very important. Last thing you want to do is have this in a gun rack, show up to an active shooter, intend to go in and save lives and have your sling get stuck on something in the car and make it your response time even more behind the power curve, right? So stowing your sling in the patrol vehicle, very important. Now you don't have to buy my product. You could be as simple as putting blue painter's tape around that rifle, around that sling. And when you deploy, you just yank out of that blue painter's tape. Like, I'm cool with that too. You don't need to buy my stuff. So I don't want to be the kind of company that sells people on my stuff's the only way, right? I like to give people options. But in general, very important to stow your sling. So with mine, as soon as I show up to deploy this rifle, it's in a patrol ready condition, meaning full mag is loaded, nothing's in the chamber. That is how as, all, as far as I'm concerned, every agency has a policy that way because we shouldn't be driving around with rifles with rounds in the chamber. No bueno, right? So I'm going to immediately get this rifle out. Sling's not in the way because it's stowed. I'm going to charge it, rack around in the chamber. I could then get to work just like this. My sling is not in the way. Now I want to get into that sling as soon as possible because I may need to go hands-on. I may need to transition my pistol. A whole lot of reasons why I think we all can agree running a sling is very important nowadays, right? But if I have time, and I'm talking I'm running towards a building where there's shots fired call, something like that. As soon as I rack that rifle, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this thing into ready mode, right? Should already have my dot on, should already have everything else set up. Unless you have policies where you need to take flip caps off, things like that. We're not going to get into that right now. I'm chambered, I'm ready to go. I'm immediately going to reach up pull on this shock cord. It is going to deploy on its own. Gravity is going to let it fall. I could leave it this way, or again, if I have that half a second of time, I just restage that bungee. Now this thing has a very small form factor. It's not in the way of anything, right? Now from here, all I'd have to do is either combat necklace or fully swim into my sling. Now I'm ready to go. Cool. All right. Now let's get into how to set it up. All right, guys, real quick, I'm going to go over the install on the handguard. And I'll do this upside down. Hopefully, it comes across in the camera pretty well. So, our sling straps are very simple Velcro one wrap based 55301 nylon, mil spec hardware, mil spec shock cord. They're just, they're very simple. Nothing that's going to break the mold here, right? But they work. So, as a right handed shooter, this is going to start on the right handed side of the firearm. So, kind of mirror this. Tri-glide is going to be on the bottom of the handguard. Shock cord is going to be on the top, right? Where exactly it is on the rail, it's kind of personal preference. You'll find a sweet spot based on how you have your sling set up. For me, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to start with the bottom piece, pinch it to the handguard, take the top, and with a little bit of pressure, I'm going to fold it down and then fold the rest of the Velcro on itself. And that's it. I'm installed. I'm done. Now you can kind of adjust this here this way. <clears throat> I send the knot on the shock cord a little loose because you may want to fine tune where exactly it is and then you can tighten it up to give it a little more retention or less retention depending on how fat your handguard is. How you're going to actually stage your sling is going to be a little bit dependent on everybody's setup. All right. For me, I kind of find the sweet spot. I've been doing this a bit. I'm going to put a little pressure on the sling here, right? I'm going to then use my other hand, start to S fold or Z fold, whatever you want to call it right here. And then I'm going to pull 
both directions like so, and it's pretty taut. Use my left hand to keep some pressure. Right hand is going to just fix that bungee around that tri-glide. And now I'm set up. I'm staged nice and flat. My sling is out of the way. Again, depending on your sling length, how you have it set up, whether your attachment points are closer together, like at the rear and at the front of the handguard, you may fine tune how this works for you. For me, running at both ends, this works perfectly just like this. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight, a little bit of closer up on how to mount that sling retention strap. Now, depending on the size rail you have, you may need to trim off a tiny bit from either end of the Velcro, but I, first of all, install it the way I showed you. You may not need to trim it at all. So as you can see here now, to deploy it, all I have to do is pull down on this shock cord. It's going to fall via gravity. I can loop that back on. Nice and simple. All right, colors for my sling retention straps. Right now I'm offering four colors. So one will be black. So it's going to be black hardware, black shock cord. Standard Coyote. It's going to be all Coyote hardware, Coyote shock cord, Coyote one wrap. The Ranger Green right now is going to be Ranger Green webbing. Ranger Green shock cord, but that's going to have Coyote for the hardware and for the one wrap. So it'll be more of a two-tone look. They're pretty cool. And same with the multicam. It's going to be that Coyote one wrap, Coyote hardware, Coyote shock cord, but with that multicam Jacquard webbing for this one. So hopefully that kind of helps. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to conclude the video on our sling retention strap. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them down below in the comments. If you like this content, please consider subscribing, give us a, giving us a thumbs up. If you want to purchase one of these, please go on over to www.wingatesolutionsllc.com. I'll put a link down in the description. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Till next time, get out and train.